Verse number 40 says, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Interesting. Now, primarily that means that it's impossible for them to keep quiet. They have to do it because it's impossible. But also, let's spend just a few minutes reflecting on this verse. The stones crying out. Church, I came to tell you that we've been, we've been silent for too long as a church. We've been holding our peace for too long. And Jesus is not pleased at all. And what he's telling us is, if we choose to stay silent, the rocks will speak. The stones will speak. And in case you doubt that, I have an interesting suggestion. In fact, I think the stones are already speaking. When you consider that, God has chosen to use technology to spread the gospel because his people don't want to. We all know the technology of a speaker, right? We all know how it works, right? What is a speaker? What is it made of? Aluminium. What else? Nickel, wires, copper, all that which is what? Which is what? Stones. It's the type of stones. It's, it's literally the, the, the stone is speaking right now. Isn't that fascinating? Now, back in those days, Paul says they were able to preach to the entire globe. The entire globe, right? Without the use of technology. But they were able to preach everywhere. Why is it that we are not able to preach to the entire world? Even with the technology we have. At any rate, I thank God for technology. And I, I came to, to invite you as a church to embrace technology. Because God is going to use technology to spread the gospel to the entire world. So right now we have our cell phones. Which are literally made of what? Stone. These are metals, aren't they? And we can see a fulfillment of what Jesus is saying here. That if you keep quiet, the stone will cry out. These people that were crying out and praising God, what, what were they saying? These were people that Jesus had healed. These were people that Jesus had opened their eyes, the blind that were now able to see, those that had disabilities that they were now made whole. They praised God. But how many things has Jesus done for your life? And you do not want to praise him for. You don't want to share that good news to others. Well, if you don't want to, the stones will speak. Now, of course, he's, he, 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 he said this to, to rebuke us as well. To say, you know what? You guys can do better. And now recently, how many of you have heard of Chad GPT? Just me? Oh, okay. There's a few. That's good. So Chad GPT is a technology based on natural language processing. Where literally... You can feed this technology data. Let's say feed it the Bible. <laughs> Train it on the Bible. You ask it any question from the Bible and it will answer you based on the Bible. Isn't that cool? And what if God says, okay, you guys don't want to preach the gospel? I'm going to create my own chat GPT for my people. Because we do not want to engage. Well, I thank God for his grace. 
and his mercy. That it doesn't have to get to that place for us to wake up. It's time to occupy until he comes. To use the talents that God has given us. To use the pounds that God has given us. The gospel. To multiply it. To grow it. To trade with it. Primarily by living out every truth that we know. It's not enough to know the truth. But make sure the truth is lived in the life. And then secondary. Share the gospel with others. Everyone in your sphere of influence. As we close the appeal, it's, it's that simple. God has given you a responsibility to share the gospel. He says, ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, that you may know that I am he. And beside me, there is no savior. Besides God, there is no savior. So why are we not sharing the only way of salvation to people who need salvation? And Jesus also tells us, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses. It actually takes power to be a witness. As I told you, when you witness, when you have your feet shod with the, with the preparation of the gospel of peace, that's, that's an offensive weapon. It's not a defensive weapon. The gospel is not defensive. It's offensive. You're going right into it, into the territory of Satan saying, hey, I'm more powerful than you here. So we need the Holy Spirit to equip us to be witnesses. So if you want to be God's witness, if you want to continue to be God's witness in these perilous times, I invite you to stand as we approach the Lord in prayer that we may be faithful even in the list that he has entrusted us with.